Hello everybody, in this video we're going to take a look at some Kurt Cobain drawings. Um, there are a lot, but these are just the ones that I have found. Um, these specific ones I have chosen reflect the signs of the times that we're living in. Um, so let's take a look. Here we go, Mr. Mustache here would represent your satanic government agents. Censorship is very American. The end love kurt okay so that could have some prophetic implications as well but truly we are living in these times okay here we are it's a smells like teen spirit collage that kurt put together um again now we're covering the sumerian uh controversy in our bibles and what is the sumerian controversy is these government agents you know these crazy satanic government agents mr mustache who we just saw are um the people of god or the people protecting the people of god like to be raped by them and because of that everyone else has to suffer so that is the consequence of samaria here would be um overcoming the sumerian conflict so we're living in these times swingers uh right here i know it's blurry but is a poem by poet alicia ostrich you could google that and look that up but i will read this poem i know it's i know it's uh, very blurry you can't read it on the screen but um this poem is uh very important passing that fiery tree remember in our bibles trees are a sign of insight you know, we are a tree planted by the rivers of the water that cannot be moved. Passing that fiery tree, if only she could, be making love, be making poetry, be exploding, be speeding through the universe like a photon, like showers of yellow blazes. That is the poem that Kurt put on here. That represents the kingdom of the Father, right? We all know, um, you know, the, that the verse of Riders in the Storm, uh, the whole Mary Magdalene thing. All that so here we are um and kurt put under this with the lights out it's less dangerous here we are now entertain us and we have likely the suffering servant feeble servant of isaiah 53. so that's an interesting collage that he put together here this is kind of grotesque but um this is biblical of course um the flowers represent the children of God who are being uh, molested and raped and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so again, the Sumerian conflict is written in this comic that Kurt Cobain drew, and I believe he got these through dreams. Guys, I found a lot of these. I'm not even sharing all the things I've found. Um, I'm only choosing a couple. But here we go, the Sumerian conflict. Um, I'm going to read this. Listen, chump. Listen, chump, you guys is rigging up the getaway while me and my sweet damn here begin the distraction. This is the um, controversy. This is the conspiracy of Samaria. Rape me. Rape me. So, uh, the peop so this is the people that are protecting the children of God. They just um, want to be raped by these satanic... Uh, government agents while the people of God suffer so that's uh -huh. it um, and we have a whole comic about this um, clearly this would be here we are again uh, the satanic government agent on your left uh, the Sumerian uh, rape woman or whatever you want to call it on your right and he is um, you know they're they're allowing this to happen and they're shooting that would be Messiah right here and it's very interesting we have dreams uh this is i think this is prophetic you know where's chump where is the getaway shit he's james at 16 run for it damn this could be something that's coming in god's wrath in the dream james is the head of the church where's the chump where's the getaway shit part of my language it's James at 16. Run for it. Damn. So we know there's going to be time manipulations and all that kind of stuff. This clearly came from dreams Kurt Cobain had. And it goes on and on. It goes on and on. Uh, some of the apostles, um, Matthew 15, Matthew 20, I think you could see it prophetically or guilty of this as well. So, um, yeah, really amazing. And it goes on and on. Now, as we see that happening now, uh, this 
another this painting Kurt Cobain drew um, I believe is happening right now as well literally I mean literally right now uh, we are living in the days of second estrus chapter 13 the man um, coming from the heart of the sea so here we are expecting an exodus coming and who is going to be making this exodus who's going to be making this judgment um ezekiel's wheels of judgment angelic wheels of judgment um so that would be messiah um drowning under the heart of the sea um then we have the guitar it could be nirvana's music i mean this is something we could be seeing happening right now and it runs in perfect contents with what we just covered here we are, another signs of the times. Um, there was a very famous Nirvana shirt back in the early 90s after Kurt died about uh, seahorses. <coughs> and the, um, I used to wear that shirt personally all the time when I was a teenager. And it just had all these seahorses in the front and on the back. It had the, in an, a huge paragraph about the description of a seahorse reproductive thing. And seahorses are interesting because the male seahorse carries the children and gives them birth so this is clearly prophetic and it's not a coincidence that kurt made that into a shirt while he was alive without coincidence um here is another nirvana shirt that was i used to wear this as a 13 year old kid it's a come as you wore shirt with the seahorses on it Um, here is a comic, the more messianic prophecy, I believe, Kurt having dreams um, about Messiah's life and all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of stuff here. Uh, I'm not going to get into this, though. Here we have uh, just a caricature of our Mr. Mustache. Here's another very interesting uh, drawing Kurt did. Notice how this is the character here is Adam. So it's clearly about Messiah and his life. So this is interesting. All right, guys. So that's all I have for you. Uh, have a good day. God bless you.